So continuing from our previous week, we're gonna be breaking down the entire body using the, the same shapes. So generally animals, we can break it down into three. Three large sections, kind of like the human body. So it'll be this tombstone shape. And this will be for the, the chest. So this generally, this corner would be for the animal's elbows. This would then be attached to the body, which is generally this barrel shape, okay? This is where the, all their, their rib cage and organs would be. And that would be attached to their pelvis. So just like how this shape, that corner is the elbow. The corner right here, this shape, will be the knees. Knees, elbows. Alright, and it's broken down just like how we break down our body. Very similar. Theirs just has one extra step. But yeah, our heads would be up here, and theirs would be over here. Right. So to start off our construction, we'll be doing big cats again. Here we have a leopard. So if you guys have done figure drawing, you kind of want to start off with like a gesture first. After that, you can kind of ghost in the shapes you want. So make sure to do this step very lightly. Okay, you're just trying to figure out where everything is. Right now, this is just me drawing the bones. This would be the scapula here. It's where this bone would connect to the hip. So let's bring that head back a bit. All right. So these shapes are pretty much all all for placement. Then you can go back in with the more, more defined shapes, right? We'll go back in with that tombstone. All right, and this is would be its side view right here. For big cats, we we'll want to add their wrists. So the wrist is right here, and underneath that is all the tendons. So from there, we can add in our general shapes to indicate the paw.
So we're gonna start off with kind of like a wedge shape. So this is what this this is the side view for a three quarter. This is what it looked like. Just breaking it down into simple shapes. We can always draw over this later. All right, for the other side, I'm just gonna go in there. So this is just like the previous weeks for the head. Start off with your your box. Triangle for the nose or the bridge of the nose. Your eye, nose, your mouth, and your ear. Same thing on this side. And move down to the hips and the pelvis. So where this shape would end would be where this bend is right here. That angle right there, we just follow up. And then from the knee, where this bend is up here, I'm gonna go down. Draw on the leg. From here, we can draw the heel. Same thing with the paw. Add the tail and after drawing these basic shapes that you can go in as always to the smaller detail so you can round off certain shapes right add more of that elbow right there the round parts of the paw Little paw pads. Okay.
And this right here would be some of its back muscles. Just like before, we're just going back over our construction with darker lines just to show the audience uh, what we want them to focus on. And if you look, their body is very, very similar to ours. The thing is with cats and a few other predators is they actually walk on their, their toes. So this is where your scapula is. Right here. And where ours would be. Let's draw us real quick. Us. Those are our hips. So our scapula would be around there, where it connects is here, and this would be our collarbone. The thing is about these cats is they don't have a collarbone, but it would be right here. So, just like how. They have elbows here, ours would be over here. This would be our forearm, same thing as the cats. But this is where their wrist is. So this is their wrist. And from there, you can see their hand and their toes. Very similar to ours. And then the thing is with animals' hips, depending on the animal, they can be thinner or wider than ours. Us humans, we generally have wider hips, right? Because you have to stand upright. That's where our legs would attach. What theirs? here a lot more thinner than ours probably more like this all right so that's the basic construction there let's try out three-quarter view So same thing as our side view, we're just going with a gesture first. Okay, so our cat is moving in this direction. Then we'll get the general proportions in, right? So the body's around here. The hips will be around here. So right there, you can see the bone, bony parts of the hip. There's our cat. And looks like he's moving forward a bit, so we'll have that in. The heads around here. Okay. And where the knee would be. Here it goes back. If you notice, it goes back in perspective. We we'll just add that there. Okay. This is more or less our leopard. So from here is when we can actually move on to the, the construction. Now that we have like a general feel of where everything is, right? It's probably here. So it would be here, 
roughly on the back foot. So here, where the elbow is, go up. And so the top of that tombstone would be the shoulders up here, right? So here would be the knee, and the knee would be on the other side here, not this, this is muscle. So right here where that bend is. Figure out the other side. So there's our basic shapes, right? So a cellular shape. Of course, it you'll have to adjust these shapes according to your reference and the pose that the animal's in. Looks like there's a dip of the hips. And for the neck, just kind of be another oval. So this is the front face of that tombstone. Draw the neck there. And it's okay to draw through things, right? Especially when things overlap. It'll help you position things better. So the head is around here. Let's get in the arms and legs. So just with circles. There. Draw your arm. Wrist. Same thing with the other side, add that in. basic wedge shape for the paw, okay? Now let's move on to the back legs. We have the knee, we have that bend. So. We do that. Under shape. And here, same thing.
indication of the tail. And now we can move on to the head. So the order is up to you. You can either go ahead first and the rest of the body, but right now I just wanted to focus on the body since we've already gone over the head. So our circle, line, same as before that corner of the eye. Go over. as before, just going to follow the angles of these lines, draw the muzzle, and draw that triangular shape. Get the ears in. And get in the eyes. And now we can kind of round things out over top of the construction. in between there. Elbow kind of goes back. So we can raise these shoulders up a bit more. As well as the back. Let's see. 
these little lines, we're gonna add the openings for the claws and the paws. Thing and how things overlap on the body. And there you have very basic construction of big cats. So you can use this for any other big cat or any other type of quadruped animal, probably more on the predatory side. Yeah, from here you can always go into the smaller details, right? Like things like the spots. But always make sure when you're adding details like that, things like the pattern is you follow the form. So this, be quite round here. And any pattern here would follow this right here. See it goes from up, curves over, and then wraps around. So we can go in and detail a bit. Add your spots. And as always, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get the general feel of the animal. All right, as I was saying before, just make sure the pad is wrapped around. And that's how you draw big cats. So now that we have our prey or predator out of the way, we're gonna move on to more of prey animals. So just like predators, they'll have those three very similar body shapes. Just the proportions will be slightly different depending on the animal, but it's still, still very much the, the tombstone this is just side views. Goes into that barrel shape. Then goes into the hips of the animal. All right, the pelvis. 
So from these three shapes, we're gonna construct this horse. All right, so as always, start off with the gesture, just like in life drawing. Get the head in, right? We've got that curve. We stop right there. All right, so far on a horse, the front is this bump right here. The back is the same thing as the cat, that elbow right there. Okay. Again, in that long body. Right now we're simplifying, so we get it from this part, this bumper right all the way down. So you can see the knee is right here. So we use that, that's where we construct our line. Now for the horse's neck. Kite shape. This is where the eye would be, right? A corner of that kite. And those large cheek muscles. Then you can add the nose here, as well as the lips. There you can go on to the ears. Now, just like the big cat, we can start here. Forward. So this would be their forearm right here. And the interesting about horses is they actually walk on their toenails. So unlike the cat who walks on their toes and us walk on the, the bottoms of our feet, they'll be walking on their toenail. This is the forearm, it's their elbow, forearm, their hand. their finger and then the toenail so we'll continue on drawing the gestures so for the animals that have this box is their hip I want to find the center here Attach it to the knee. Find the rest of the leg. So an easier way to do the joints is wherever the limb bends you can start off with a circle and if you want things to have more dimension and form you can use a box instead right so you can use the circle first and draw a box over it now let's continue so see where these rounded joints are that's where you want your circles There. 
the toes. Get in the construction here. Cylinder, the hook. For the tail, you can add a little bit extra and add the tail after. Okay, now let's get in this other leg. So for the horse's foot, where these toes are, right? So we start with a circle, it's the larger view, into a cylinder, and from there we'll have this wedge shape of the horse's toenail. And then once you have it like this, you can you can move on to more of the detailed parts of the foot. So Make sure you have some overhang here at the skin because it'll wrap around that nail. And like I was saying earlier for the toes or any of the joints, instead of this ball or in addition to the ball, right? Depends on what you're more comfortable with. So it'll look like this. From here is where you attach that cylinder. And then you can attach the hoof. Okay? Because this will give you a top plane and a side plane, while the circle doesn't give you that. So it helps to differentiate between the bony parts and the smoother parts by having some straights and curves together. So I gotta do this hoof a little small. Go in there, fix that. Okay, same thing with these other, other joints. You can always replace it with a box instead. So after having that basic instruction, then you can go through the small details as always. So it looks like it's, uh, it's harness, right? The eye itself.
notice the curve here, how round that looks? I want you guys to get that in, okay? Volume is really important when doing art. Gives it that three-dimensionality in a 2D space. All right. Make, it makes things more realistic and more believable as a whole. So let's get the rest in. So see how the wrist here has uh, these two joints or these two corners? That's where that that square would be more useful and more it tell more information than if you just did a circle, right? Look something like that as a side view. Same thing. Getting to the, the toe and the toenail. Okay. Just going over those construction lines. Always get rid of them later. That's the, the side view of a horse. From here, we'll move on to three quarter view. All right, same thing as before. We're gonna be doing the gesture. And the head. Body. So. The legs would be. So I had the head a little too far forward. I'm just gonna remedy that, remedy that right now. So here we'll start off with that tombstone shape. So if you look at this corner here, that would be our front corners. Just go straight across. And the horse's elbows right there would be the back corners. So get that in. here, work on that barrel shape of the body. And now the pelvis. So right here would be the knee. down where that joint is all 
right. Now let's go to the base construction of the neck. So I want the end of the head to be there. I'm just gonna go across for the eyes. And have that kite shape in. Okay. Now for the ears. It's cones for the nose. forward for the lips. Now let's work on the legs. So same thing at the bottom of the tombstone. You're gonna want to add those those circles or ellipses. From there, draw the arms, the wrists, which are right here. So I'll do the indication of cube so you guys know okay so that gives it a front and side view from here you can tee down all right now add in the legs Excuse me, the hands and the fingers. Now let's get the back legs in, same thing. Back. And then you can add the details, okay? After you have that, all that construction done, you look at the horse, actually has some chest muscles here. So these ones right here, that lead up to the neck. Just gonna add those in. Okay.
go. That was to the neck. Uh, for the cheeks of the horse. The nose. The mouth. And the eyes. We're just cutting into that shape we drew earlier. That just kind of helps us place things, okay? So the proportions are wrong, you can always adjust them here. And that is your basic construction of a horse. Of course, you can go in and add the details of the muscles. But this basic construction should help you get started. So remember, that tombstone shape goes into this barrel shape, into that, that square shape, okay? That cube, the modified cube, the legs from the tombstone will do kind of like modified cylinders or cones. I can go into either a circle or a cube, depending on how detailed you want to get. There goes into the same thing, right? So it's still at an angle, and then the toenail of the horse. You can draw around your construction. That concludes my demonstration on how to build out the body of a horse and a large cat using simple shapes.